Human beings cannot. We are finite human beings incurring an infinite debt. Only an infinite being can pay. That is why Christ has to come to us in order to pay. And he paid it in full. But he paid it in full in his historical body, which he received from Mary. He lived in that for 33 years. He died in that. And he paid in full in the historical part. That is the eternal punishment that we incurred by our sins. But there is what we call temporal punishment also that is attached to sins. Eternal punishment, he only can pay because he is eternal. But the temporal punishment, he left it behind. He could have taken it if he really wanted to, but he willed that we partake of that temporal punishment for the time being, till we meet him and be with him. Until such time, he willed that we do have a share in that punishment of sin, which is called the temporal punishment of sin. And that he left behind. If anyone wants to follow me, let him take up his own cross and follow me. That's what it means. So that is what St. Paul says. I am making up for what is lacking in the sufferings of Christ in his body, the church. The church is called the mystical body. So Christ had three bodies. He had a glorified, he had a historical body which he received from Mary. He lived in that body for 33 years. And when he rose from the dead, he had another kind of body, which is called glorified body. Beatific, beatified body. The resurrected body. Different from historical body. The glorified body. And third, before he took that glorified body in ascension into heaven, he left behind another body, Eucharist. which is called mystical body Eucharist. of Christ. And that mystical body, you and I are the living cells of that mystical body of Christ, and Christ will that that mystical body has to have a share in the temporal punishments of sin, which I, as I said, he could have taken it away as well, but he will that we have a share in his suffering as well. That is what St. Paul is talking about. I am very fortunate. As I said, he was writing this letter from the prison. He was suffering himself. And he says, I rejoice that I have this opportunity of giving my own load of suffering, my share in the mystical body of Christ, the church. So that it will be cleansed day by day. So that is what we are reminded of on this sacred heart of Jesus, feast of sacred heart of Jesus, the heart broken and wounded for our sins. And yet in this infinite love has opened the gates of heaven. After a short period of time, we will all be with him and with all the saints and angels in heaven. So my dear friends, from now on, we cannot look upon crucifixion as something that took place, like the Battle of, Battle of Waterloo two, some years ago. No, it is an enduring thing. We, when, when we suffer, we are making up for what is lacking in the physical body of Christ, which is the church, and which has to suffer till the end of time, until it is pure, free from all wrinkles, to meet the bridegroom uh, as a bride who is pure and chaste, to meet the bridegroom, Christ Jesus our Lord. Whenever there is silence around me, by day or by night, I am startled by a cry. The first time I heard it, I went out and searched, and I found a man in